Okay, I forgot where I left off. I think I was organizing my area back here. I uh, moved that air compressor up top there. I actually don't use that very much. It's kind of a backup compressor. It's a good one. But uh, as long as Dad's works, I tend to use it the most. Which, when I put that up there, I was able to put this little file cabinet here. Which allows me to stick things in it that are, uh, you know, like there's some pickle forks right there. Take measures in that drawer and and etc. I suppose where it's here next to the uh, drill press, probably putting drill bits in there would be pretty pretty sensible. Uh, I used to have my small pancake compressor hooked up to this big air tank to get more volume, which I really don't much need now. And I had a uh, air dryer hanging on the wall here, and I moved it and put it over here, connected it to the big compressor because uh, it just makes more sense for it to be there and uh, that way I can and it just fits on there real nice and I can just hook this one to it like this and basically it's all charged up and ready to go of course I think I've got to cut off right now because it will uh, tend to run down if you don't and I don't like to leave it where it'll just keep pumping all the time while I'm at work. So, I still got a ton of mess here, but you know, I can start to use some of that space over there to put things in and hopefully clean out some of this junk and some junk over there. That's kind of what we're shooting for. It's turned into just a, uh, a day in the garage where I'm making order out of chaos, which is not at all a bad thing. Okay then, I'll stop talking. Okay, I got a little bit done in here today, uh, but I'm not going to finish. My knee is starting to bother me a little bit, so I'm going to go in and put my knee up and ice it. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to do enough to hurt it. Cutworm told me to behave. Cutworm told me to behave this morning, so I'm going to try to behave. So I'm going to go in the house. Everything that's in there will still be in there next weekend. And we'll call that good for the day. My knee kind of comes and goes after the surgery. It felt great. And then it started bothering me a little bit. And now it's bothering me again a little bit. So I don't know about that. I'll uh, talk to when I go back for more physical therapy, I reckon. Okay, see y'all. Alrighty then, I guess I can give y'all a little bit of a knee update. I went to the doctor this morning uh, for a follow-up and I was explaining to her that my knee felt awesome good right after they did it. And then after that, um, after this weekend, it started bothering me a little bit and I was a little bit worried that I might have done some damage to it. And She said while they was in there working on that thing, they shot some cortisone in there, which explains why it felt so awesome good right after I got over it, you know, right after I got out of the surgery. And that wore off, and that's why it's not feeling so great now. But she said, it's okay. So I'm way ahead of schedule. Uh, I asked her what I could and couldn't do. And she said, well, don't play tennis and don't play golf. And I said, well, I don't do that anyway. And she said, basically, go by how it feels. If it feels painful, cut it out. And uh, she said it was a little swollen right now, so put some ice on it. So I'm just going to continue gently doing what I do and follow Cutworm's advice because, you know, he's a... He's a highly renowned, well-known, intelligent, and wisdom-filled kind of dude, as many people have pointed out. So, so with that said, there's the update, and uh, I'm going to um, get ready and go to work here in a little bit, but I just wanted to give you all that. I hope you're having a nice day wherever you are. See ya!